Sexuality, the it has a has a, a it, um, in, is mainly environmental. So um, how how your sexuality turns out, particularly whether you're heterosexual or homosexual, um, is is really to do with your sexual development being um, correctly catalyzed, and uh, people can be knocked off that canalization process um, and and go through phases of being homosexual or whatever. But normally, people that are genetically healthy um, end up back on that canalization process and they end up being heterosexual. And so in men, the genetic component to sex differences in sexuality is about 40%. So it's 60% to do with environment. In women, it's only 20% to do with um, genetics. And the proposed reason is that female sexuality is much more fluid. It's much more fluid. And one of the reasons for this is that women are evolved, our prehistory until very recently, um, involved polygamous marriage systems. Um, and you would have a system where, you know, one man would have a large number of, of wives. And those wives would alloparent each other's children. They would, they would, you know, a couple of wives or a group of four wives, you know, would, would get together and help parent each other's children. And one way they could help to do that was by being having creating very strong bonds very strong bonds with each other and one way that that can happen is if the bonds become sexual and this is why uh when women are put in prison uh they often become lesbians uh because because if you put them in an environment where there's no men then in prehistory and evolution you know you could imagine a situation where you've got this dominant alpha man and, he, and you're you know he marries the new younger wife he's investing more of his resources in the younger wife and the wife that's a bit older is not getting as much and so she's sort of allo parents together with a couple of other wives and they bond strongly together and so the female sexuality is therefore much more environmentally influenced than male sexuality wow. and men will tend to be either you're either heterosexual or you're homosexual that's it i mean it's a few people that are bisexual but basically it's like that whereas women can go through phases of being uh, gay and then back to being heterosexual again